Hi, I'm Tim, and I'm back this time for a review of the headphone jack. I'm just kidding. It's actually a review of the Empower Bluetooth Cheetah headphones. However, in 2016, it's probably a good time to start thinking about the headphones that you have. With reports that Apple are going to be removing the headphone jack from the iPhone 7, and with Bluetooth technology becoming the more preferred audio connection system of choice, uh, now is a good time to start thinking about a cost-effective but good pair of Bluetooth headphones, and I think the Empower Cheetahs fit that bill. I've had these headphones for about a year and a half now. Uh, they're, they're extremely reliable, and this is actually my third pair. I lost my first pair, I still have my second pair, and I just decided to get another pair recently. The packaging is quite simple. Uh, it has a very premium look, but once you get close to it, it's uh, quite cheap. Um, inside the box, you get uh, the headphones. It has a sort of fake suede plastic casing. And then you have your charging cable, your instructions, and then you have uh, some exchangeable ear fittings for a more comfortable fit inside the ear. Now that we've looked at the packaging and the features, it's time to talk about the fit and the sound quality. First up, the fit. Now, these come in a very compact size, and to put them on, you just simply untangle them and place them around the back of your head. And once on, that's it. They fit really, really well. You don't get the sensation that they're pulling down on your ears like uh, most Bluetooth headsets do. And then they just arch around the back of your neck, and you've got a bit of flexibility. You can move that up and down. On the right hand side you've obviously got the controls, the call button and also the volume up and volume down button which doubles as a play next and play previous button as well. Moving over to sound quality, these are a really really good pair of Bluetooth headphones. Now it's difficult to compare them to wired headphones. I've used Beats Tours and Bow Wilkins C5s and those are really really quite premium quality headphones. They score about 9 out of 10 on my scale. These ones score about 6.5 to 7 out of 10. You're getting what you pay for and the sound is reliable. Especially when you're working out in the gym, this is just a great pair. They're also quite convenient, they sit around your neck and um, to be absolutely honest with you, you know, I I'd back this pair of headphones anytime. The device itself is is very compact, as I've said multiple times. You've got the uh, you've got the micro USB charging area here on the right, uh, right next to the microphone. Uh, that can be a little bit tricky to remove, um, but persist, and uh, that's a feature you'll like because it actually makes them more um, sweat proof. Uh, you've also got the volume up and volume down button there, and some regulatory information. And then you, on the left hand side, you haven't got anything there. I'm assuming that just houses the battery. If we move over to the um, sort of the main part of the device, if you press and hold the call button, this switches the device off. We get a red sort of LED light to let you know that. And then to switch them on, you just press and hold that same button and it'll flash as green when it comes on. And if you continue holding, you get the pairing combination. So it flashes red and green when it's pairing to a device. Pairing is quite simple. You can pair to a computer, you can pair to Bluetooth, uh, enabled phones, and anything that's basically prepared to pump out sound using the Bluetooth 4.1 or Bluetooth um, you know, technology. Changing the uh, ear fittings is also quite easy. You just simply remove and replace with the appropriate size. And these are reasonably sized, so it's a very easy thing to do. All in all, these are a really sound pair of headphones. I really like them. They're cost effective to replace. Um, and you know they're also really durable you can use them for working out you can use them pretty much in every situation and the sound quality although it's not absolutely premium quality it's still good enough for, for, for 90 percent of use um, i highly recommend them and i'll catch you in the next video